हेलो एवरीवन टुडे विल डिस्कस विद यू हाउ टू कन्वर्ट 100 मेगा हर्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी इनटू टू वन हर्ट फ्रिक्वेंसी दिस कन्वर्जन ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंसी विद डन विद द हेल्प ऑफ फ्लिप फ्लॉप आई एम यूजिंग टू फ्लिप फ्लॉप फॉर दिस कन्वर्जन वन इज टी फ्लिप फ्लॉप एंड वन इज डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप बेसिकली टी एंड डी फ्लिप फ्लॉप मेक विद द हेल्प ऑफ master and slave uh, that uh, also uh, master and slave is a combination of uh, jk flip flop so uh, indirectly t and d flip flop is the uh, uh, combination of uh, uh, jk flip flop so for this uh, conversion we need to divide a frequency uh, so uh, the frequency we know that the frequency divided with the help of uh, flip flops so uh, uh, it is the high frequency 100 megahertz and it is the low frequency so we need to divide it uh, and now we are uh, discussing about the requirement of flip flop that can help to uh, divide the frequency so uh, i am just uh, uh, clarify some point uh, regarding the frequency division so t flip flop is a flip flop that has the mainly three important to output one is t clock and clear clear basically used to clear uh, the output and uh, clock is provided to uh, input as a input and that uh, the input is uh, right now we have a 100 megahertz frequency basically frequency is a clock that can provide with the help of a uh, clock input and t is the uh, main terminal uh, that is the combination of jk basically uh, jk uh, is a look like this j and k and the sort of j and k wire is called uh, t flip flop so uh, t is the combination of jk and now uh, coming towards the uh, the pattern uh, that uh, created by the output uh, it is the uh, timing uh, diagram uh, that uh, Uh, shown the division of frequency basically the way the input input the signal is uh, is that uh, that has the t uh, time period now that you can see clearly see that and the output is q so q i just uh, uh, draw by the green line so after the uh, uh, after the giving uh, clock in t flip flop it's uh, provide output uh, that uh, time period increase by t so the total time period is 2t uh, as a, a output set and we know that the relation between the frequency and the uh, time so the frequency and the time uh, is a relation time is indirectly proportional to uh, frequency so i just uh, written uh, this uh, f is, is equal to 1 upon t so when the time is uh, double after passing the t flip flop like i am just input clock here input and the output is a q so q is represented by the green line so uh, here we know that the time is uh, double 2t here is time t it is the output of t flip flop q terminal so as uh, here we can see that uh, the uh, time duration is 2t uh, in that output uh, here when time is double then uh, frequency automatically uh, half now i just uh, clearly by this term 1 upon 2t now you can see that uh, this is uh, L, let's suppose f test so now you can see that it is the f test so f is equal to 1 upon 2 f dash so now you can see that here the frequency divided by 2 so by using this concept we uh, divide the 100 megahertz frequency uh, with the help of t flip flop 
now after dividing the uh, uh, frequency just we try to convert uh, the 100 megahertz frequency in 1 hertz frequency so it is all also done with the help of d flip flop you can just uh, uh, and provide an input as a clock and clear for the clear output and q and qr qr and the uh, output uh, a, uh, output of q is look like uh, this similar to this uh, like a t output also look like this or uh, exactly this so <coughs> now upcoming the uh, how many uh, counters required to converting the 100 megahertz frequency in 1 megahertz so as as we uh, once we divide the frequency after the passing one flip flop the frequency divided by 2 basically and now we want to divide it 1 by 4 so we need to just two flip flop and we want to uh, divide this frequency further by two by eight now we uh, need to flip flop three so i just uh, uh, clear uh, the concept i want to just clear the concept uh, we need to this uh, uh, journal formula to implement our uh, concept to divide 100 mega hertz frequency but hertz frequency so now coming towards the uh, frequency uh, uh, division now we, we uh, how many uh, flip flop are required to divide it basically so now we can calculate by easily when now we want to one hertz frequency so how many flip flop be required so now we want to calculate the value of n basically so uh, as we have a frequency of um, I can say that 100 megahertz when we want to uh, divide uh, the, uh, the uh, divide the 2 key power uh, 1 by 2 key power n then uh, this is equal to 1 then what is the value of n when uh, the term is equal to the 1 hertz so we need to uh, just initialize and we need to just uh, uh, we need to just clarify what is the output regarding this so i just calculate and i just uh, go uh, coming towards the result so we need to uh, 2 key power 27 2 key power 20, 27 approx it's approx uh, uh, maybe um, I just uh, calculate you can also try uh, 2 key power 2 key power 27 it just is number is 134 I just clean up some space required basically so okay 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 okay, okay. okay one yeah I just right here one three Two one seven seven two eight. After putting the value of n, it uh, look like this. So by divide by one this term. I just uh, show you the figure of this term seven seven two nine. Uh, it's approximately uh, one hertz. I just simply say that one. Uh, it is the term to the power eight. Hello. Uh, so uh, basically, we want to uh, convert in one hertz. So uh, the div uh, division value is to the power n. Uh, 100 megahertz upon 2 key power and basically the concept rises here 
now when we process the frequency in in one free flow then the frequency divided by 2 when the frequency passes by two free flow then the uh, frequency uh, is one by four then the three when we passes the frequency by uh, in three free flow so the frequency is uh, divided by one by eight so using this concept i just uh, uh, create a uh, you can say that a general formula for this term and when we want to 1 hertz frequency then obviously we have an input of 100 megahertz frequency so we want to uh, uh, convert when we want to convert in 1 hertz then what is the requirement of n so by calculating this equation the value of n is equal to 27 27 by uh, with the help of uh, this uh, general formula uh, we just clarify you when we uh, passes our frequency in 27 flip flop then the 100 megahertz frequency is uh, approximately convert in 1.47 uh, hertz frequency that is uh, approximately 1.47 hertz frequency that is approximately uh, 1 hertz okay so if we want to increase a uh, flip flop like 27 then it will be uh, so uh, less like when we want to increase to keep our end when we want to increase then that term is decreased so it's like 0 0.56 that not our requirement our requirement is 1 hertz when we want to increase like uh, we want to give 26 flip flop then it's it is that decreasing them now it is increasing so it's approximately increase up to 2 2.8 uh, one something that is not our obviously not our requirement our requirement is 1 hertz so uh, so our requirement is 1 hertz so <coughs> the exact you can say that flip-flop requirement is 27 so by coming in the final conclusion I just clarify some uh, point basically <coughs> we need to uh, uh, convert our frequency 1 hertz megahertz into 1 hertz 100 megahertz into 1 hertz we, we need a flip flop flip flop uh, basically is a <coughs> logical device a logical uh, circuit that uh, divide the frequency that help to divide the frequency like i am just showing here when the input is t then the output is 2t so here is the uh, time is double now frequency is half so by using this logic just flip-flop i uh, just clear to flip-flop conversion the frequency uh, flip-flop used to divide the frequency now coming towards the how many flip-flop be required to 100 megahertz um, into 1 hertz so uh, for this uh, we need are uh, 27 i just clear before 27 flip flop required to convert 100 megahertz frequency in one hertz frequency so i am just using the jailing software for this i just uh, uh, also i just may clarify your doubt with the help of simulator board and i just uh, because uh, save but 27 is a large amount of flip flop it's take a long duration time so instead of uh, taking time i just <coughs> draw before the making the video and now i'm uh, able to clarify each and every point for you so i just <coughs> design uh, previous uh, uh, discussed uh, logic here uh, here it is the countable uh, flip flop 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 3 is a uh, 21, 21, and 6, 27. So, total flip flop is 27. So, I just uh, um, 
tell about you input and output so you can uh, clear ps previous uh, uh, previous output uh, it is used to clear the previous uh, set of pre previous output so uh, just it is the uh, work like a clear and you can see that just clear yes it is zero after putting this zero and i just add uh, in slides before you uh, telling uh, d, d is the input and qr it is the input of this and the clock that provide by the user 100 megahertz and after the uh, in after that the input q is uh, uh, the output of a uh, one flip flop is a uh, input of second flip flop now here frequency let suppose here the frequency is 15 now here the frequency is 25 uh, here is the frequency is uh, 22.5 so by uh, dividing the frequency by two factor and uh, now the <coughs> conclusion that is we need to 100 <coughs> we need to convert 100 megahertz frequency in 1 hertz mega frequency 25 uh, flip flop so <coughs> here you can simply see that the q is the output here the one frequency is comes so i just uh, simulate this circuit on the simulator <coughs> it is the one second led basically 100 um, what is the main uh, main what is the our main purpose basically our main purpose is when we convert 100 100 megahertz frequency in 1 hertz frequency to so main purpose is uh, one, uh, it's convert uh, in uh, one, approximately 1 second it can be visual to us when we give uh, input mm -hmm. any LED for this mm -hmm. <coughs> so it is the look like 1 uh, second uh, visual to us so I just simulate this <coughs> Okay, I will I just clarify some points for you. It take a short duration time approximately 5 to 6 minutes. It is the middle part of our circuit, our circuit. So just you can clear this input. Okay, I just yes. <coughs> discuss with you it is the clear so i just uh, put as a zero now you can see that when we provide a zero then the output also for zero now i just put in as a bump now clock so i just uh, give a clock force clock for a zero to one uh, means a down to uh, up frequency one Okay. Now I am upcoming to the. Okay. So it take a uh, short duration of time. Uh, I mean, it is the combination of twenty seven flip flop and uh, it take a short duration of time because twenty seven uh, uh, a flip flop a processing uh, consume the processing time so approximately when we when you calculate the exact time it is the time so you just uh, see that after two and three minutes here after uh, at uh, 67 microsecond 67 microsecond you can see that uh, um, 67 uh, microsecond you shall see that the output is 1 so uh, approximately you can uh, say that hello <coughs> now we are coming after uh, 2 and uh, 3 minutes now you can see that now 1 is uh, coming at 67 uh, picosecond uh, basically the time is showing in picosecond 
at this uh, not two uh, so i just clarify some points about this so uh, basically we uh, we convert 1 hertz mega 1 hertz to 100 megahertz frequency in 1 hertz frequency by using this formula we, we need 27 foot clock as we uh, see previously so so by putting the 20 and is equal to 27 uh, it is approximately 1 hertz so the relation between the uh, frequency and time is f is equal to 1 by t so t uh, is equal to 2 to the power 27 upon 2 to the power or 10 to the power 8 by using this so it is approximately 0 a point uh, 6 a 7 second as the given uh, in tool 10 to the power uh, minus 2 second is equal to 1 picosecond so the value is given in the picosecond so that's why it is shown here uh, <coughs> after the conversion of in second uh, the value is approximately uh, 0 0.67 second so now every and each point i think i cover why we need to convert 100 megahertz frequency in one hertz frequency because we want to uh, uh, one second uh, you can say, say that one second time period we want to one second time period so that LED when we connect any uh, LED with one, uh, one hertz frequency it can be visible but one second it, it can uh, a human can be easily be visible when we uh, instead of one hertz frequency we, when we use 100 megahertz frequency that it cannot be visible for a human you can uh, so by increasing the uh, our for increasing our time period we dec we want to decrease our frequency so by using uh, this concept we uh, decrease our frequency for visibility of led uh, actually we when we want to connect led one third frequency it can be visible when we want to connect uh, 100 megahertz it cannot be visible for a human so for a visibility and for a work uh, with a one second LED we want to conversion for dividation of the frequency so for the dividation of frequency we need to flip flop one flip flop is uh, divide the frequency in half one by two and two is two flip flop is divide the frequency in one by four so by using this concept what is the, what is the number of flip flop for the 100 megahertz frequency converting 1 hertz frequency so a general formula is uh, 1 hertz is equal to 100 megahertz upon 2 key power n basically we just clarify with that so n the value of n by calculated by uh, with the help of this equation the value of n is equal to 27 so we need a 27 flip flop for this conversion and uh, so i just created the combination of 27 flip flop after that i just come with the uh, simulator and here we can see that the uh, bun bun is high on 67 so 67 a, a is equal to comes with here uh, f is equal to t so t is 20 to the power 27 upon 10 to the power 8 so it is equal to uh, 67 second so now <coughs> I just <coughs> conclude each and every point and I just discuss every and why we need and how we can convert it and what is the requirement and what is the uh, tool settlement you can see that it is the time taking process uh, that's why I uh, created before making this video and it can be also done by t flip flop i am using d flip flop uh, if you want to use t flip flop just you delete this wire and instead of uh, doing this just uh, give the logic one here t and the output is uh, the output of the t flip flop uh, same look like uh, this after uh, output uh, of one flip flop is uh, input of second flip flop
also same in t flip flop so there is no difference of uh, using by t and d it is uh, combination basically is uh, it is the combination of master and slave there the master and slave basically work on toggle uh, toggle concept so there is no issue using by this two term so thank you so much for being a part of our journey <laughs> and thank you so much guys bye bye